Yeah, okay, nice. All right, those are going to die to a log, so I'm going to have to be careful. Just going to go for, like, a fireball on the knight. Going to go for, like, a log on the gang. Wait, he can't do anything in this game. He has nothing. Nice. That was so good. Going to archers here, and, uh, yeah, I think he gave up. He has E-Spirit in hand, though, but the Expo got a fat lock already, so wouldn't really be able to come back from that spot. I'll take the win. Rocket is also really bad now, so they can't really rock in my tower. So, yeah, that was a really good matchup. I'll take the win, though. Puts me at... All right, I'm in a match. Facing IMT Slayer. Top 45 right now, so... Let's see how this goes. Gonna go for a Skellies in the back here. Just gonna go for, like, a log to cycle. Don't really know what deck he's playing, so... Gonna have to take it slow and easy. Hopefully not log bait. I just played my log, so... If he goes barrel, I'm gonna have to find a different way to counter the barrel. But it's not really that popular. Only the one tricks are playing it right now, so... Gonna go for a knight in the back. Okay. Phoenix and a bar barrel. So I guess E Giant. Not a bad matchup, really. If they have a lightning, it could get tough with a golden knight NATO. But if they have an EQ, it's really easy. You'd expect the matchup to get harder if they have an earthquake. But it's actually like a lot better if they have an earthquake because they can't really out damage you. I'm gonna go for my skellies over here to pull this back so it doesn't really get any damage on the Tesla. I think it would have gotten like the death bomb or whatever. But yeah. Just wanted to keep it alive for a little bit longer. Gonna go for an Ice Bear on the left here to bait something out. Uh, Cage, okay. I didn't know he was gonna let it connect, so I just kind of fireballed the right side. But yeah, it's always better to fireball the Cage um, if you're facing E-Giant. Because, I mean, free damage, they can't do anything about it. Because, I mean, most they can do is like E-Giant at the back or like E-Giant with the Brawler. But that's really easy to defend. You just go Tessa and like something else with it. I wouldn't recommend playing Arches on defense, though. Because if they go Golden Knight, that's a guaranteed dash on your tower. So, yeah, just... Try to stay away from playing uh, archers on your on your defense. Oh, he has a golem. What? All right, whatever. Gonna have to knight on the right here to bait the golden knight. Nice. So I don't think he's dashing here. He could dash, but I'm gonna wait to see if he does. Can't play Matessa right now. If I play it right now, he dashes and it goes to Matessa, and that would just be annoying. So don't really want to do it right now. I'm gonna go for a Tesla now though. Now that the golden knight died, and uh, yeah, the golem should die. The golemites are not going to get to my tower, so that's good. I feel like I take more damage from the Golemites than the actual Golems, but that's when I play Queen Bow, though, because, I mean, Cannon dies so fast. It does a lot of damage, but it also dies really fast. So, gonna go for Arches in the back here. Just gonna go for an X Ball on the left. I know he's not back to Golden Knight, so he only has a Cage right now. If he goes for Cage, I'm gonna quickly Fireball the middle here for the Phoenix and the Cage, and yeah, that should be a lock. He couldn't get that Bar Barrel on time. Like, he couldn't get it down on time, so that's good. Got, like, a tiny lock, but I would have preferred it to be on the other side. It's okay, though. He might be going same lane as me. Yikes. Okay, yeah, this is not good at all. Gonna have to go for a Tesla in the middle. I can't really Skelly's um, in the back because he's gonna dash. Or like Archers in the back. So I'm gonna have to Archer super high. Oh, really good Archers. Because he had to NATO them and then the Phoenix also died to it. And they died to the Phoenix. So now if he goes Golden Knight, it's not gonna dash to my tower. I'm gonna go for uh, Axe but I'm gonna wait to see what he does. Okay, let's go for a Cage. I'm gonna go for like an Ice Spirit over here to kind of bait something out. Oh, that's gonna jump on the Golemites. Well, not the best Ice Spirit, but it's all good. It happens. I'm going to Knight on the Baby Dragon. Just going to go for like a Skelly's on the cage and then see if I can go in right now. Okay, I'm definitely going to Axe but Oh, shoot. I should have Axe the other side. I didn't know the Golden Knight was going to go to my Knight. I knew he was going to have to play something on the Knight Archers. Wait, 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 wait. Look at that damage. Oh, my God. So much damage. He can't really Lightning, too, because he played a Nita. So I don't think he's going to Lightning. Might actually Lightning when he is enough. Yeah, wait. Definitely going to Lightning. Please don't nade ability me, please. Ah, uh, I'm gonna Skelly's high to see if he does. Okay, thank God. I took the Golem Death Bomb though, but yeah, thankfully he didn't nade ability me. If he did, I would have been dead. But wait, then again, he naded the Archers and the Knight on uh, on offense. So what was I thinking? Yeah, he was definitely not gonna pop there. That was kind of my bad. Um, hard to keep track of Cycle and Double when they have a big push going on, but I'm gonna have to try my best. Gonna try to keep that um, Archer alive if I can. Nope, it's gonna die to the Golem. Whatever. Gonna go for um, Expo again, because why not? I know it's not back to Golem, so he has to go for like a Golden Knight on this. And if he goes Golden Knight Phoenix, I'm gonna get a really nice Fireball. Oh, wait, I'm gonna Fireball these. What? Bruh, the Golden Knight went to my Tesla and uh, I missed my Fireball, but it's okay. I got a lock anyways. So I think I win from this spot. Um, Really bad matchup, but I'm playing really well right now. Except for the one Fireball that was kind of a misplay, but gonna go for a Knight on the Golem. Might take this lightning right here. I'm gonna have to be careful. Yeah, see, playing a Tessa helps a lot because, like, sometimes they play the air card really fast and the Tessa locks on it. And now I get to kill the baby dragon. He goes Nato. Uh, yeah, and that's just gonna dash all over the field because, I mean, even if I played a knight, it just dashes into stuff. So, I don't know. Really annoying card. Gonna go for a log. 
Good night as well. I have plenty of flicks right now. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I don't like this. The archers. Dude, I need to find a way to kill the archers on my side. Oh god. Oh god. Please don't call the night. I need the golem death bomb or something to kill the archer. Oh yes, the baby dragon killed it. Oh, thank god, dude. That would have dashed into my tower. Oh my god. Alright. I'll take the win. Oh wait, I didn't see his other tower. It's so low. So I think I would have won even if he got the golden eye dash off. I was kind of panicking for no reason, but... I'll take the win though. He's a little bit lower than me, so I might not get like a lot of trophies here. Probably like 25 or something, but let's see. Beating Golem's a good feeling though. Golem Golden Eye, especially with the lightning. Oh, that's so nice. opposite if he does i'm gonna have to go for like a tesla and then archers like really high so he can't arrows the tower and the archers but i think i'll be fine I'm gonna arches the back here to beat the arrows though so i'll be back to a second set and i can kind of like freely use it i don't really have to like save my um tesla and a fireball for the balloon see what he does he's definitely gonna go in i think he's gonna minor on the tesla too so i'm gonna ice spirit yeah i had a feeling that's pretty obvious I'm gonna go archers and uh he's nowhere close to being back to arrows so this is free all right, I'm just going to fireball right now and then try to get to a second fireball. This was a really good win, not going to lie. The knight in the back was kind of genius by me, but I'm going to ice spirit, log, skellies, and I'm one off. And uh, yeah, just going to archers high and then fireball. Okay, nice. I'll take the win. This is going to give me a lot, like 38, 39 or something. This guy's a lot higher than me. He might be in the top 10, actually. I don't know, but at 38, yo, I'll take that for sure. Puts me at top 32. Not bad. Alright, I'm in a match. Facing Banna, but this guy's not the Golem Banna. He's playing um Log Bait. This guy's Mizuara. So yeah, gonna have to see how I can beat the Mighty Miner Log Bait deck. Gonna go for an Ice Spirit to cycle. I don't really think I have that bad of a matchup. I feel like it's my matchup with the Rock and Nerf, but I could be wrong. Gonna go for Arches in the back here and just gonna go for a Knight if you guess for a Princess. If not, I'm just gonna Expo. Oh, Cannon High. Okay, I'm gonna Fireball. Yeah, I'm just gonna Fireball now. Because, I mean, he can't really do anything. He can't rock me back. If he does, I go Expo Knight and uh, I Spear on the Mighty Manor and I win the game. So, 
Okay, goes for Mighty in the back. I'm going to respond to that with a Knight and then keep my Ice Spirit ready because he Micro Princess opposite, which he often does. I know this guy's um, play style, but goes for Barrel. I'm going to Ice Spirit now because he might go for it. Nice. Caught it. Okay, Tesla should kill it, so I kind of want to go Axe here, but at the same time, he might be saving up for like a Rocket, so don't really want to do that right now. I'm going to go for uh, Skelly's in the middle and uh, see what I can do. Might go Cannon again on the same spot, like a little bit higher than the middle to make me Fireball the Tower again, or like maybe Fireball the Cannon or something, but we'll see how this goes. Gonna Knight in the middle. Actually, don't know when to go in because I don't really want to go in, but whatever. This is definitely one of those matchups where you kind of have to go in to win the game. So I'm just going to Axe now and the cannon should die to my Knight Archer and the uh, Red Side Archer. Going to log the barrel. Oh, didn't I just win because he can't really rock it now. So I'm going to have to block the cannon. I just go Archers and they do... What? What? Why does he have an EQ? Alright, uh, that kind of sucks. But it's better for me in the long run because I'm not going to go in the whole game. I'm just going to fireball him out and he can't do anything. If he goes EQ on my tower, I just go Axe Bell Knight and then try to bait the second one out. And then I go Axe Ball opposite lane, so he can't really do anything. Kind of funny, not gonna lie. At first, I thought it was kind of a bad matchup because I wasn't really expecting the EQ. But now that I think about it, it's uh, yeah, it's a really good matchup. Gonna go for Archers in the middle. I know I said I wouldn't go in, but I kind of want to go in opposite lane here to see if I can get a lock. I'm just gonna Fireball the right side. I don't think it matters what I do at this point. Probably should have Fireball the left, but yeah. Kind of went for the fireball on the wrong tower. It's okay though. Um, gonna go for a knight in the middle. Can't really log the princess on this because I kind of have to save my log for the for the barrel. So, gonna play it safe. I'm gonna go for uh, archers high. I could Tesla high, but I don't want to. Gonna fireball again. I'm just gonna keep fireballing. Every time I have it in cycle, you're gonna like see me fireballing the tower because I mean he can't do anything once again if I do that. So, gonna go for I spear at the middle and the knight the middle. Gonna log here. He has a mighty down, so he's definitely gonna outcycle me here, but gonna have to be careful. Gonna Skelly's archers. Uh gonna fireball the cannon and the princess. I was gonna fireball the tower, but he gave me a really good value with that, so I'll take it. Gonna ice spirit. Already back to log. I don't know how I like didn't get outcycled there. I think it's because like he played a cannon in the middle. He had to like log, ice spirit, goblins, and then just go barrel, but yeah, not the best barrel by him. I'm gonna go for Skelly's, gonna go fireball on the princess. I could just have fireballed the Mighty Manor, but I want to get the Princess off the tower or off the field, so it won't really like get a lot of value. I'm going to go for Archers in the middle. Oh, he missed the pull on the Knight, so that's going to get like two hits. Not bad. Going to Knight in the middle. I know he's back to it, so I might play it at the bridge. Going to go for a Fireball on the Barrel because I kind of got outcycled. He had a Mighty Down, so that was a little bit expected. Going to log on the Princess because I just fireballed the Barrel, so I'll be fine. Going to go for an Ice Spirit on the left here. Just going to go for like an Archers. Just trying to cycle back, but... Actually, I don't really have to cycle to a log to kill the barrel. I have multiple ways to like full counter the barrel, so this is good. By the way, I'm going to make the Axe matchup guide once I get 100k. I'm kind of set on that now because I don't think they're going to drop balance changes anytime soon. I don't think they're going to like emergency nerf anything, so the meta is pretty stable right now. So yeah, just going to work on it starting uh, today. So probably like give me like a week or something. Maybe even like under a week. I don't know. Something like that. But yeah, kind of motivated to do it now. So going to Fireball. And uh, Skelly's in the middle, just gonna go for like an Ice Spirit, gonna go um, Arches in the middle to cycle. Okay, so yeah, I've been fireballing every chance I get, and he's not really being able to catch up on damage because I mean, he can't really EQ me randomly. If he does, I go Axe Bow, so it's not really that good. Gonna go for Arches in the middle, might have to start like EQing me now. I think he knows it. Gonna go for uh, Log, gonna Tessa here. You can see what he does. Okay, just go for the first EQ in like 3 minutes or something because I haven't gone in in a while. Uh, Skelly's to block the cannon, just gonna archers, might go cannon on the other side, yeah, just go for it. One of the archers died, but he also plays the EQ on the expo on the archer and the knight. So I'm gonna log over here, just gonna fireball, just gonna stall out the game, and yeah, that is going to be GG. So that was like an 80-20 matchup for me because, I mean, he can't do anything there. All I gotta do is not go in, just fireball cycle, so I'll take the win. I'm going to play one more, I guess. I think I already played, like, what, four games? So, yeah, just going to play one more and end the video there. But let me see where that puts me. Probably not going to give me a lot, though. This guy's a lot lower than me, so. Uh, 23, yeah, okay, whatever. I'll take it. That puts me at 32, not bad. All right, on to my last game. Facing Navid. See what deck he's playing. I'm just going to go for Arches in the back here to cycle. Just going to go for, like, a Knight on the Miner. I know it's on the safe spot, because first Miner, often going to be on the safe spot. Unless they know I'm playing Expo, then, yeah. Not going to be on that, but 
Yeah, see what deck he's playing. Gonna go for a axe, but I think it's minor poison with like a mortar and like knight archers and everything. Definitely a really bad matchup. I don't think I've beaten that matchup yet, but I'm gonna have to find a way to beat that matchup. I made it really close though versus some guy. Um, but yeah, it was kind of annoying. I'm gonna go for like archers and then just gonna.